Hi lovelies, so today I wanted to just talk to you guys because I probably won't be able to update or talk to you guys much because tomorrow is my surgery at 11.45 and I was, I have been so anxious about it and so nervous and so worked up and then a couple days ago we started getting ready for it and that was like helping me so much. Um, just feeling prepared and getting things in order and um, but then yesterday or the day before I started getting super scared again and I don't I, I know I've written this a lot uh, to people or talked to you guys about this uh, I don't know if I actually talked about it in a video but I am very fearful of this surgery which is a very weird sensation for me because I actually I'm not a very fearful person. I'm an insecure person. I'm a needy person. I am an anxious person. I worry, but I don't generally get scared. And I have been very scared about this appointment, in particular that it's going to hurt a lot, which is also not usually a fear that I have. But because my first surgery was so like horrific and an emergency, like I didn't really have a say so and I didn't know I was gonna have surgery until like five minutes before they were putting me under so um, I know that I was traumatized from that experience but um, I didn't realize I guess how much and I just I it's funny because I guess with the other surgery it was taking something out it was like getting rid of something that was bad and so I didn't really wasn't very fearful about anything like I was just really excited for it and then with this because they're putting stuff in and I've already completely healed it just feels like it's really gonna hurt a lot and I don't have my doctors here so if it means pain meds like I'm just stuck with what I have and um I have a very weak stomach as we all know and I'm just really afraid to go into a state like I was before just like throwing up nonstop and not being able to control it and things like that and you know if there's like a lot of blood in my stomach it'll just I just have the worst body ever like it just is in revolt like about everything but I've just gotten such an outpouring of excitement and um, something that was really huge to me is that I feel very very oh gosh every single time I talk about it every single time um, my best friend Lindsay it, oh my gosh uh, my best friend Lindsay is graduating from and getting her masters and gosh it is such a huge accomplishment like it's just one of those life moments that you just want to be there with your best friend and celebrate with them and like those are one of those things that like no matter how sick I was it I would be there and the fact that I am 12 hours away and I'm not going to be able to go to it is really difficult for me clearly uh, but the, I don't I feel like my friends are robots at this point because I honestly don't know how they deal with me but I had mentioned something to Lindsay and she wrote to me just like this the most amazing thing ever like she was just like you know we'll throw a party when you get back and you know don't worry about it like just get healthy so you can come back here and like huh I just have such great friends and such great support and um, gosh, I act like I'm going to this like life-threatening surgery, but um, when I already, ha I already had that surgery, um, yeah, I just, it's just really helped me with a lot of my fears and people praying for me and that's really awesome too because it reminds me over and over and over again that I need to have my faith in the Lord and that he will take care of everything like he will comfort me he will if there's pain it will heal and it'll all be for a purpose and it's just gonna all be good and um 
and the sooner I have the surgery, the sooner I can get back to my amazing friends and stop this waiting game, you know, like, I think I've hung out with Leanne like twice since I've been here, and the rest of the time, really the only reason I haven't seen anybody is I just, I just have been waiting and like secluding myself, and I've talked a ton about, to you guys about that, but, um, yeah, I just want to start the healing process and get that going and get home and, um, so I'm excited for it, yet fearful, yet anxious, yet, but, um, now that it's just the day before and there's like less than 24 hours until my appointment, um, I feel really good about it and I'm ready to go. The one thing that I have to stop in my mind is for when for some reason I feel like I'm going to come out of the surgery with a tooth because I just it's been so long that I've been missing this tooth and they're doing this huge surgery to like do the implant and the bone graft and everything that I just cannot get it out of my mind that they won't be like attaching the actual tooth at that time so I have to get that out of my head because that's gonna be a really sad realization after the surgery when there's still no tooth and I'm going through all this um, but I can't get a tooth for three or four months um, after the surgery to just really make sure that that um, dental implant is in there because my other tooth was moving around in there so it caused a lot of space and gapping and I just need to heal a ton so um, I have to get that out of my head and that I'll be going back to North Carolina toothless now without my one tooth and um, yeah so and then I'm just going to be watching a ton of movies and videos and hopefully I'll be able to talk to you guys soon but I don't know maybe I won't it'll be hurt, hurt to talk I don't know I'm sure for the first couple days because I usually have to keep like a pack in there um, a gauze pack but other than that, and I'm hoping that it goes really well and there's not a ton of pain, but I'm all geared up. I have my Gatorade, I have my Ensure, I have my applesauce, I have my um, stomach nausea medicine, so I should be A-okay. And then you guys will hear from me like as soon as I can get back to you guys because I know that y'all will be hearing me. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Facebook, I'm sure I'll be posting something there or Instagram one of the possible places I'll post that the surgery went well and everything um, yeah so hit me up add me subscribe if you want to find out what happens and I have a few wantable unboxings coming up so that's pretty exciting because I haven't done those in a couple months actually uh, but other than that I hope you guys are all doing well um, let me know how you are doing today and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a pretty stress free day. I'm sending out X double O's and as always, me.